Yo, yo. Hello, hello, hello. I'm back. I'm back. Can you see me and hear me A-OK? -okay? We got the live stream going now. I got my microphone in now. The big boy. I had to take my other microphone out. Can y'all hear me now? All right. Awesome. 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 Is my music, visuals, everything A-OK? -okay? Give me a check, guys. All right, perfect. Dimax, what's going on, brother? Dimax, how you been? I'm over here on my gaming channel. Nice to see you. How you been? I'm over here to talk about a couple games. Nice to see you. We are live now, baby. How's everybody feeling today? How's everybody feeling today? Go ahead and smash that like, guys, so everybody can... Uh, Fine, there because everything's all good. Yeah, T zone. All right, everything's good. Okay. Seeing your live, why not join? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're here. We're here. All right, everybody. Nice to see y'all today, man. How is everything going right now for you guys, man? It's a nice, beautiful Saturday. We are here live streaming. I had a couple technical difficulties at the beginning, but we are here now. We're live now, man. I just want to check in on everybody, make sure everybody's feeling good today. We got a couple of gaming news to talk about today, but I'm going to let more people get in the stream so everybody can come check us out. Anybody drinking on anything? Are you sipping on anything? How's your Saturday going so far? How's everything going so far? I want to know everything. Yes, Duradan, six days until the moment. Six days until the moment. I'm ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. Drinking tea. Brandon, what's going on, Brandon? The OG Brandon is in the building. OG Brandon. I still ain't got over that epic giveaway we did, guys. That, that giveaway was so epic, wasn't it? Such an epic giveaway. T-Zone. Give me one second, guys. Oh, 
Okay, we are back. We're back. We're back. All right. Does drinking water count? Of course, absolutely. Drink your water. <laughs> Drink your water. Of course that counts. I bought the game three times over already and I'm upping my backer copy to deluxe when I can. That's, there you go. There you go. Epic. There you go. Excellent. So you guys always know I like to check on you guys and make sure you're okay. Make sure everybody's having a great day before we get started into the topics of our stream today, man. Some of you guys saw the title. We're going to be talking about some JRPG news. We're going to be talking about some Final Fantasy, um, some sales, and all of this sort of stuff like that. We are one weekend removed, um, one weekend away from A Uden Chronicle dropping, and that is so exciting, man. You guys know I've been waiting so much. The wooden box set cost me 150. <laughs> hey, I'd rather you spend it like this, you know. What has everybody been playing these days? Before we hop into our news topics for the day, what has everybody been playing these days? any game let me know what game have you been playing uh, let me see here Pathfinder as of now I'm gonna keep it real with you guys I've been playing that Grandia HD collection man I've been playing that a lot right now um, I've also been in a really heavy Sonic mood Sonic the Hedgehog mood for some reason I've been I've been in the Sonic the Hedgehog pretty heavy I've always been a huge Sonic fan, and um, these days, though, it's been kind of, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the movie coming out later this year that I'm just super excited for, but I've been playing me a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Adventure to be specific. That is my game right now. That's the game I'm playing right now. Childhood game, but I'm playing it these days. Um, I've been playing Predecessor. Oh, Cyberpunk? No. <laughs> Dimax playing too. I love it. I love it. I love it. How is Cyberpunk? I, you guys, you know what? I never end up playing Cyberpunk. Was that game any good? Was Cyberpunk any good? Platinum grind? Nice. 40th platinum. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, when we get a couple more people in here, we'll move over to the topics, guys, and see what's going on in JRPG land right now. So Cyberpunk is good. I never played it, man. I never played it. Wow. Now, I remember that game had a shaky launch, didn't it? Didn't it launch pretty shaky? Oh, Nier Automata. Oh, I love Nier. Nier is just absolute excellence. Love Nier. Love, love, love Nier. What is Nier sold now? Like six, seven million copies? Excellent game. Imagine the DD2 launch. Ah. So it was kind of crazy. <laughs> It was a crazy launch then. It was a crazy launch, but then they fixed the game, right? Okay, awesome. Awesome. Okay, as long as they fixed it, man, and now it's an awesome game, that's really all that matters, right? That's really all that matters right there. All right, good. So I'm glad everybody's been playing something like Duradan 2. I've been staying away from JRPGs right now, man, because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about the JRPGs right now. Man, Euden Chronicle is my most hyped game for the year, as I've made it clear to you guys countless amounts of time. And I've kind of just been staying away like Duradan. I've been kind of staying away from JRPGs because I just want to go into that game with a brand new, renewed sense of adventure and excitement. So I cannot wait for that game, man. What's going on, Fallen Angel? What's good, Cali Q, brother? What's going on, my brother? How are you doing this Saturday? How's everybody doing this Saturday? And let me tell you guys the reason that I'm streaming a little bit earlier today. I'm a huge um, UFC fan, and I got to keep it real with you guys. UFC 300 is tonight or today, and I had to hurry up and get this live stream in before 300 because I am going to be watching every second of that. So I hope you guys don't mind the slight time shift, the slight time change, but we're here now and that's really all that matters, right? So that's why we're streaming a little bit earlier today, a little bit earlier today, okay? Um, Let me see what we got. Yeah, thank you, Duradan. Be sure to hit the Discord up, guys, if you guys want to get um, updates on when we might be going live. 
what's next for the channel and things like that yeah man I, i'm so excited for ufc 300 man so that's why we're streaming a little bit earlier today okay guys uh fallen angel said i'm good man i got 40 hours in tesla symphonia how are you liking it so far what are you thinking so far I'm a big UFC fan too. UFC 300 is going to be psychotic. It's going to be amazing. Okay? So that's why we're streaming now. We're streaming now because it's going to be bananas. So, alright guys. Let's go ahead and jump into a little bit of our topic for today. Alright? Topics for today. This stream... Um, I kind of wanted to focus on a couple things, man. Um, oh yeah, one, once again, thank you, Duradan. But as a reminder... We will be doing our Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes giveaway. Two copies of the Standard Edition is going out for all subscribers. And then one copy of the Deluxe, um, as Duradan have with 48 hours early access, is members only. So you have to be a member of Cali Q Games in order to be eligible for the Deluxe Edition. But all you got to do is show up for the Standard Edition, okay? So I will be doing that giveaway live to everyone okay three copies is going out total big moment big event okay so what I want to touch on today man I want to talk about some JRPG news with you guys and I want to talk about what's going on with this Final Fantasy situation right now we're gonna pull up an article here and we're gonna to try to hash this out and figure out what's going on man we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna to try to figure out what's going on cuz I'm seeing people take this a certain way i'm seeing people flip the story flip the narrative i'm just seeing all kinds of things right now and um yeah it's crazy so let's go ahead and jump into this article right here mind you has anybody played final fantasy 7 rebirth yet and have you liked it or have you enjoyed it let me know Let me know if you guys have played Final Fantasy Rebirth or if it's something that you've been enjoying right now. Or if you really don't care. <laughs> Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Oh, I'm going with Max Holloway all day. Oh, Max Holloway. I'm going with Max Holloway. Even though he's the underdog, I'm going with my boy Max. Max is one of my favorite fighters ever. So I'm going Max Holloway all day. Me too. I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that. My laptop can't run it. <laughs> I'm waiting. So we got a lot of people waiting right now. We got some people waiting before they jump on it. So let's talk about, because th this was supposed to be, yeah, Blessed Express all day, man. You know it. <laughs> Fallen Angels are a real UFC fan. I love it. I love it. Yeah, all day. So right here, man. This is what's going on, guys. Let, 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 let's talk. Let's talk some some Final Fantasy numbers right here, okay? Let, let, let's talk some numbers because this has been a big deal and a big thing right now. Um, I've been seeing these articles go around. A whole bunch of stuff is going on. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is underperforming, says industry analysts. It's selling about half of what remakes sold in the same time frame. Now, just from a headline article perspective, are you guys surprised by this? Before we dive into the article, are you surprised that Rebirth is apparently underperforming? Now, we know Square Enix has these ridiculous sales expectations all the time. If it doesn't sell 50,000 million copies, then it's a failure in Square Enix eyes. But this is an analyst saying that Seven Rebirth so far is underperforming. So what do you guys think about this? What do you think is causing this? Before we look at what's actually going on, give me your initial thoughts right now, guys. Like, who's shocked by this? Who's not shocked by this? P Doggo said, not really. Why are you not surprised? Why are you not surprised? What's going on? Because me, for, for me, I'm a little shocked. I thought this game was going to fly off the shelves. But I don't know what could be on. I mean, I 
I don't know what's going on. Is it the new style that they're doing? Is it the new approach to Final Fantasy as a whole? What's going on? No, uh, no, this article is getting context badly and they didn't do their due diligence and Square Enix has not said anything yet. They would as of right now. Okay. So is this, like, that's what I wanted to say. Is this a misleading article? Let me know. I'm, I'm curious about this now. Or is this just some hearsay? It's misleading? Okay. Have Square Enix came out officially yet with any sort of sales news on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? I remember Like a Dragon and um, I remember Like a Dragon and Persona came out relatively quickly. A lot of players are calling this out. Okay, good, good. So Square has not said anything officially yet, right? That's why it's always good to check the context and make sure. So has Square themselves said anything about the sales of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? That's what I want to know. I want to know how the sales are doing. See? Okay. So that's why it's always important to make sure that we check these sources and check these articles because sometimes they can be out of pocket. I'm pretty sure this game is selling well. Again, well to Square Enix, who knows these days, but I'm pretty sure the game is selling pretty well. I'm not worried about Final Fantasy, to be honest, guys. I, I, I don't ever see it really in danger or in trouble. It's underperforming in Japan, UK, so it's not misleading. But you know, the Japanese market is it's always so, I don't know, it's, it's hard to just define these days. Yeah, they only stated sales talk with 16. So, okay, very interesting. So, Final Fantasy as a whole, I just like to figure out what's going on. I know that it was important to hear some of these sales because right away, JRPGs this year has been on fire. So, I know if Like a Dragon, Persona, and Grand Blue all hit a milli, there's no way Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is not selling well, right? Like, I don't know. That's just my little head, head knowledge, <laughs> head canon that I like to use. I feel like that would be super shocking if Final Fantasy VII was not selling that well. That that would shock the mess out of me right there. Like, that's wild. What's going on, Zoom? What's going on, Zoom? Made it to the stream, people. So, while I got everybody here, look, this is what I want to do. I want to go ahead and give you guys, moving on, I want to give you guys an update on the Capcom Super Elections Questionnaire a survey that they released all right be sure to hit that like once again guys so that more people can get the video and more people can um come through and enjoy the stream because like we said youtube does not push out the content that much so oh my shirt it's uh captain america iron man scarlet witch it's a marvel shirt i love this shirt it's a pretty awesome shirt thank you zoom <laughs> yeah it's my marvel captain america shirt I love it. I try to rep the old school Marvel as much as I can before all this new crazy stuff started happening. Um, let's see what we got. So I'm gonna give you guys an update on this Capcom situation, man. Um, let's go ahead and talk about this Capcom situation real quick. So as you guys know, they were doing this massive survey, man, to see which games should come back, which games that we wanna see get revived, and which games may need a remake, collection, whatever the deal is. So I have a slight update on that guy, on, on that for you guys. Nothing too crazy. Um, so I went back to the Capcom site and it has here on their uh, Twitter handle. This is an official update for this massive poll that they ran. It says voting for the Capcom Super Election has closed. Thank you very much for over 200,000 votes. It will take some time for the results to be announced. We will let you know as the date and time are decided. So please look forward to it. Then when you go to the site, oh, that was me looking up the names again. <laughs> then when you go to the site, it now says, thank you to everyone for voting. Check back to see the results. 
So this is exciting. Okay, this is very exciting because finally these results are being tallied up. These votes are being tallied up. And let me tell you guys, this is going to be a monumental survey. Like, this is going to be huge in the scope of telling Capcom what we want, what we want to see, what the fans are looking forward to. This is going to be absolutely huge. And in my personal opinion, right, in my opinion, if Capcom does not do anything substantial from this survey, to me, that would be one of the biggest L's that they could possibly take. There's no way that you do a survey of this magnitude and we get nothing from it. So I can't wait to see what the results will be. I, I'm, I'm so excited to see what these results will be. We clearly know, looking at some of the um, words, they use this sort of app, right? They use this app thing and they told us, let me see here, let me go here. They used this app and they picked out and pulled the most popular words. I made a whole video on this and I talked about it on my last live stream, but since this is a new development, um, this is a new development, right? So here we are right here, okay? This right here is, this right here is the most words that were used in a lot of people's survey uh, voting. And as we can see here, just a brief reminder, um, Dino Crisis, Mega Man, Legend, Street Fighter, Ace Attorney, Resident Evil, Dark Stalkers. Um, and in the Japanese version, they have Rival Schools and Onimusha, Mega Man EXE, things like that. The only thing I'm disappointed about not really seeing is the Versus series. Once again, it's very small over here. It says like SNK versus Capcom, but it's like super small. It's super small. Oh, I agree with you, Duradin. It, it is sad that there's no Strider in here anywhere. Yeah, there, Strider's not in anywhere. I haven't seen anybody mention Strider, actually. That's kind of sad. Another one that I'm a um, little hurt about that they didn't mention, guys. Another one that I'm really hurt about is no Power Stone. Who's played Power Stone before? Like, who's played Power Stone before? Because... I'm very sad that Power Stone did not get a mention in either the Jap Japanese or the American. That's a little disappointing. Power Stone was a very fun game back in the day that Capcom made. It was like a party fight or somewhat. And man, like it's kind of sad that nobody mentioned Power Stone. Like, is it in here? Let me look harder. Let me look harder. Like, wow. Wow, I do not see it. I see power, okay, I see power up here at the top. I see power at the top, but it's so small. It's so small, I need glasses to see that. <laughs> it's so small, I need some glasses to see that. I mean, Zoom, I'm with you, Zoom. I'm sitting up here, okay, look, there's two things on here that, that's cracking me up. It, guys, imagine when the full list come out, I'm gonna be I'm going to be analyzing the mess out of that list. I, I'm, I've never been so excited and hyped for a survey before. I'm not going to lie. I've never, because if there's one thing I can say about Capcom, there's one thing I can say about Capcom. I can say a lot, but I at least got to give them some props because they do things like this that at least lets the fans feel like we have some say I gotta give that to Capcom guys like I, I can criticize them and critique them all day if I wanted to but I have to give them this right here is a lot more than a lot of companies will do <laughs> okay like Konami like Konami for example Suikoden fans we know how Konami treats us I never see Konami doing something like this. So I got to give it to Capcom when I see these sort of community outreach attempts because at least they're trying. So I got to give them that. They're giving us a chance for our voice to be heard. That's why I'm so excited about the results of this survey. Um, Zoom says, so does this survey mean they're going to make the game that got the most searched? Zoom, not exactly, no. But it gives them an idea 
You know when a company comes out and is like, you know, covering their ears saying la 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 la. Like, what I give to Capcom, what, that's what I was just giving them props for. They're giving us a chance to vocalize what we desire from them as a company. Not necessarily that any of these titles will be made based off of our desires or wishes, but it puts into the forefront for the whole world to see, hey, we're asking you guys for this game and you guys are giving us X, Y, and Z. When we're asking you and you told us to ask you, what games do you want to see from us? That's why I like that this puts everything into perspective. It gives us a shot and it delivers the message to their door quite clearly. Now, there are some funny ones on here like we're all talking about. For me, personally, I'm cracking up because I feel like I'm cracking up because I feel like, why is Resident Evil on here? <laughs> why is Street Fighter on here? Why is Monster Hunter on here? All of these titles, all of these titles are absolutely safe. <laughs> They're all safe. So it's funny that people put these games on here. I mean, and, and it is funny because it sort of tells the company that, hey, this is what they want from us. Let's just keep doing that. But the real Capcom fans, the rest of us is like, yo, like, yo, let's try something else. So it's funny that people took this opportunity to bring other titles up, but they put the same old good old titles that... <laughs> They said, oh, I want another Resident Evil. Don't we get like two, three Resident Evil games every year or something like that? Uh, and don't we get like, uh, I mean, Street Fighter is clearly not in trouble. Street Fighter is just fine. Um, the only one that on, that's on here that's unique is Ace Attorney. I would say Ace Attorney, even though it just got like the little trilogy, Ace Attorney could still use a little bit more love, right? Even though I don't play it. But Dino Crisis and Mega Man are the two that stand out here. Dino Crisis and Mega Man are like huge. Dino Crisis and Mega Man. Yes, I agree with you. What's going on, Matt? Hey, Matt, listen, we're here for you, Matt. I know you've been having a couple bad days, my brother, but, uh, my brother Zoom will take care. We'll all take care of you, Matt. Just stop in by the chat, man. Have fun today. Try to not to think about what's going on and um, just kick back and relax with us, okay? I know, I know it's bad, but you know we're praying for you, Matt, and uh, just try to relax today, brother. So that's what's going on with these games, okay, guys? So and, and me personally, like I told y'all, I'm so hyped about my Mega Man Legends. I hear I have Legends right here at the forefront. It's not as big as some of the other ones but it's big enough i think it sends the message it's big enough okay so that's good and everybody always say there's no mega man legends fans but if that was the case legends would not be one of the major words on here i really think my video had a lot to do with that i think my video had a lot to do with that and i would love another onimusha man another onimusha would be clutch it'd be awesome what do you okay let me do this with my with my subscribers what do you guys want to see the most from capcom's rich catalog and history of video games that they have not been using what do you want to see the most i want all of you guys to respond and let me know what do you want to see the most i would love a street fighter it's time for street fighter 6 season 2 absolutely time for street fighter 6 season 2 Tatsu Noko vs. Capcom. That would be fire. I love that game. That game was awesome to me. That game was awesome to me. I love Tatsu Noko. Breath of Fire. Yes. Breath of Fire would be off the chain. I would love Breath of Fire. Man, let me pull up some Power Stone clips real quick. Let me pull up some Power Stone clips for y'all, man. Power Stone was the truth, man. That was such a clutch game. Let's pull up some Power Stone clips real fast. It came out on the Sega Dreamcast, of course. We'll go ahead and put on somebody's video real quick. Um, I'll put the audio down because I don't want to steal their audio. 
Mega Man X9, Mega Man X9 would be fire too. I will literally take anything Mega Man. I'll take anything Mega Man. Alright guys, so I'm going to pull up some Power Stone. P-Doggo said Mega Man Legends Legacy Collection, Oni Musha, and Breath of Fire. All fire. Tatsunoko vs. Capcom will probably never happen because of the rights would be insane now and I don't think Nintendo or Capcom willing to spin that bag again. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. But I would love me some Tatsunoko, boy. Alright, let me pull this up for you guys, man. Let's pull this up. Let's pull this up. So this game right here was called Power Stone. It was a little, little hidden gem from Capcom. Whoops. Let's go back. So, uh, the MC, MVC reboot or MVC2 remaster. I'm with you, Brother Zoom. Mecha said Rival Schools. Yes. I agree to all of that. Everything y'all said, I would love it. I would love it, love it, love it. Can y'all see the little screen? So this is Power Stone right here, man. This is a very unique game. Um, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this game. But this game was cool. I'm a fighter, I'm a fighting game lover at heart, so I just love all things fighting game related. I love all things like 90s classic. I feel like we just need variety. We just need variety when it comes to fighting games. That's what made the fighting game age so amazing growing up. There was just so many options. Like I said, Rival Schools, you know, SNK, King of Fighters, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, Soul Calibur. I mean, there's just so many options and games out there, man. Fire said I used to play Power Stone 1 and 2 back in the day. Yeah, it was a fun game. Not perfect, but I really enjoyed this concept, man. So it was pretty cool. You were fighting like these open... Um, yeah, yeah, this is pretty much... I agree with that, Then I would call it a brawler. Um... In general, it was just nice to have all of these different options when it came to fighting, man. Like, so options. Gosh, this is bringing back so many memories. So many memories. And could you imagine? Could you imagine this game? Four-player mode. Online, co-op, online internet connection. Just duking it out with your friends. Team up, add a whole bunch of different quirky, fun modes. Man, this would be fire. This game would be so sick. You want to talk about a game that deserves a remake? I mean, look at this. Look at how amazing if this concept was fully fleshed out. I mean, you could grab guns. You could grab power-ups on the screen. I mean, this would be so sick. And then when you collect all the, the, the stones, you can do a special... Um, you would do a special move with your character. I hope... Yeah, right here, right here. So your character all got, think of Final Smash, right? <laughs> Final Smash from Smash Bros, right? Oh, this person didn't use their maximum move. But you, you, have, you have sub moves that you can use and then there's a maximum move that you can use as well. Ogre said, dropping in to say hi, currently playing in tournaments. What's going on, Ogre? We're just taking a trip down memory lane right now. But yeah, okay, and, and then look, y'all want me to get even more excited? Watch this, watch this, watch this. So you got this game, you got this game like this, right? Okay. You got this game like this, okay? What you do now, okay? Capcom should listen to me on this. What you do now, you add other Capcom characters in it. You add other Capcom characters in it as a special guest, DLC, you add Ryu from Street Fighter, you add any other Street Fighter you want, you add special characters from other Capcom franchises, and you just make your absolute own Capcom brawler fighting game. And it'll be theirs that they could continually update and all sorts of things. I think it would be fire. I think it would be fire. That's just me, but personally, I love that idea. Throw in Street Fighter characters, Rival School characters, Mega Man characters, all these characters, and just make one big Capcom brawler. I'm asking exactly. I want. I didn't want to say it, <laughs> but I feel like Super Smash Bros. Capcom would be this game in a nutshell. That's my pitch. 
I believe in that pitch, and I feel like if they took this concept, maybe try it out with a remake first, but I'm telling you, I'm speaking as a consumer and a fan right now. And if they did that with this franchise and put Capcom characters in it, I would buy it. Add in online multiplayer, co-op, team deathmatch, sign me up. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I would absolutely buy it. I would be forefront and buy it. Absolutely. To me, what makes me a little upset about Capcom right now is they have the potential when it comes to these fightings and these versus games. They don't even need anybody else. I talked about this on a video before. They don't need Marvel. They don't need Tatsunoko. They, Capcom has such a rich library of content and franchises. They can fight amongst themselves. You can literally do Capcom All-Stars, a better version of that game. You could do Capcom All-Stars and just put in all Capcom characters. We don't even need Marvel. We don't even need Tatsunoko. We don't even need King of Fighters. Just do a Capcom All-Stars and put all Capcom characters in it. It would be awesome. That's my dream. That's my dream. <laughs> that's my dream. Right? Like, that's my dream right there. My dream is to see a Capcom brawler. All Capcom games. Yeah. Let me check out some of you guys' content real quick. Let me see some of you guys' uh, comments. I'm sorry. Zoom said this reminds me of that Shrek fighting game. Yeah, that game was probably inspired by this, to be honest with you. It was probably inspired by this. Um, are you still excited for that Capcom retro remake package? Um, let me know. Which one is that, Zoom? I'm actually not aware of that one. Jump Ultimate Stars into Capcom Ultimate Stars. Matt, you know what's going on, Matt. I love it. Oh, I didn't get a notification. What's going on, Pac-Man, MG? Moneymaker, thank you so much for the super chat. Let's get some love in the chat for Moneymaker. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let me get some hearts in the chat. Let me get some hearts in the chat. Moneymaker always generously helping out the channel. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yes, we back. We back. We back. We back. We here. I reacted to it on my channel, just forgot the name. It was a Capcom remake? It was a remake package? Which one am I, which one is that? That Capcom retro remake package. I forgot what it was called. Um, Zoom, let me know. You said I reacted to it, right? Let me see here. Um, so, yeah. So, that's that. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Alright. So, yeah, guys. That's, that, that's Power Stone. Um, oh, okay, Zoom. I know what you're talking about. So, Zoom. That is... That's Sega. So, that's Sega right there. Sega's doing this um, re remake initiative right now where they're remaking a ton of their old school games. So, Sega is doing like Streets of Rage. They're doing Jet Set Radio. They're doing Golden Axe. They're doing Crazy Taxi. That's exactly what I would like Capcom to do. I would like Capcom to go back into their plethora of different... Um, IPs that they have and I would love for them to go back to their IPs, remake some of them, bring them back exactly like what Sega's doing. Sega's doing the same thing. Sega's saying we're about to go back into our catalog and get all these cool games and remake them because we know the fans want them. So that's what I would like. I would love for Capcom to do that. I think that would be epic. That would be absolutely awesome. That would be so sick. But yeah, like this game right here, man. Oh, I would love to fight my subscribers in a game like this. I would love that. I would love all of y'all. We all just do a team deathmatch. And just fight each other. Everybody just fight each other. 
That's what I would love. I would love that. So yeah. All right. Let me see, guys. Let me get. Give me one second, guys. I'll be right back. One second. I'll let you guys go ahead and check out this footage of Power Stone and then we'll go ahead and move into our next topic that I got planned for us today. There's a trailer I also want to share with you guys for now. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right, guys, I am back. Give me one second. I'm going to get you guys off the screen in a second. So, all right, guys, we are back. We're back. We're back. We're back. So, yeah. Um, sorry, guys. I had to take a quick intermission. Had to make sure the family was a okay. But we are back now. So, yeah. That's that's how I kind of feel about this whole Capcom thing and situation right now, guys. I I love the company, but I feel like they're just sitting on such a plethora of awesome content and awesome games that they could do. So it's very interesting to see them kind of like sit on that, you know? Alright, what you guys talk about here? Some personal thing? <laughs> Dur Duradan lore? <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright, perfect man. Perfect, 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 perfect. So yeah, so we're back. Now, there was a Kickstarter game that just got announced. Um, I didn't really pay attention to it that much. But, um, do anybody, is anybody familiar with Runa? Runa? It's a JRPG that's being Kickstarted right now. I was going to make a separate video on it. But it's called Runa. Have you guys heard of this yet? So 
So let me see here. Let me go to it right now. Um, no? Okay. All right. We're going to watch it then. Okay. So check this out. It's a Kickstarter JRPG and it just kind of caught my attention as well. It's called Runa and it's indie made JRPG and it is launching on Kickstarter in three days. Um, it looks very, it looks interesting from what I've kind of looked at it. Um, yo bro, Yakuza Zero is fire. Absolutely, I love Yakuza Zero. It's one of the best. It's one of the best. I love Yakuza Zero. So let's check out this trailer of this JRPG right here that's being kickstarted. That's indie made. Um, I thought it looked pretty interesting. Um, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see. I, I'm curious to know what some of you guys' thoughts are on it. And like I said, it's uh, it's pretty new, but um, it's 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 rough. It's a little rough, but let's just let's just let's just check it out and see it. Okay. I haven't, uh, I'm not co-signing it or anything like that, but I am checking it out and let me know what you guys think. So here we go. Let's go ahead and, and pull it up. What's going on? Moshi. Moshi, what's going on? We're checking out this JRPG here. So keep in mind, it's indie developed and indie made, so it's not going to be perfect. It's a little rough. I literally just saw it about 30 minutes ago. Don't know anything about it. I haven't even watched this trailer actually. Sorry if you guys can't hear the audio. I tried to turn it up, but I don't know what's going on. It's not really much audio. So it looks to have some sort of like camp development thing where you can build the city or something like that. Frame rate's a little rough, obviously. It looks like there's going to be a lot of different aspects to this game too, like uh, it's going to be a little out of the box. Where's the combat though? I want to see some combat. Okay, here we go. There's some combat. Okay, yeah, the animations definitely need some work. Impact animations everything needs some work, but I mean it, it has a decent foundation, right? Is that the whole trailer? All right, so there you guys go. There you go runa Wow, you can wish list wish list it on Steam and Let me see Yeah, it's a relatively small so what do you guys think? What do you guys think? It's a, again, huge context and disclaimer. It's an indie JRPG, right? It's indie. So it is going to have some rough spots. In fact, the Kickstarter has not even launched yet. Like the Kickstarter itself is launching on the 16th. I just wanted to bring a little bit of awareness to it just so that you guys can see it. If it's something that you would consider maybe kickstarting. Um, I just love indie developers all stepping out on faith right now. I think that that is just so cool that all these indie developers are stepping out on faith. And if you guys would like to either see more information on it, I'm going to go ahead and link you guys to the Kickstarter campaign page right now. So if you guys are finding that interesting, go ahead and check it out. I didn't know if I was going to make a separate video on it, but maybe I'll just use this clip from the live stream to tell everybody about it. Let's go ahead and post it in the stream here. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think. Some of you guys feeling it? Are we feeling it or nah? Um, so it's turn-based, I'm 100% in. It actually looks great, much better than other indie RPGs like Edge of Eternity. Moneymaker said, I don't know why, but anime characters in realistic setting kind of feels off to me. I can see that. But maybe they'll find their art style and blend it and mesh it well, you know? Maybe they'll find a way to mesh everything well together. Now, let me give you guys a couple rundown of what the game is attempting to um, achieve, all right? So it says, explore a huge world. The world of Runa is a colorful and vibrant one, but also full of mysteries and sci-fi elements. Fight turn-based battles. The element break system is a battle system inspired by JRPG classics. 
Turn-based battles would order turns, with four active and a total of seven party members that can be swapped anytime, no turn wasted, group ultimates, and a lot of powerful skills. Relationships and romance. Uh-oh. Hold on. Date different characters individually to strengthen your relationship with them. If you're trying to find that special one, you'll have more than 15 romance options. Wow, that's so it's like a dating sim. They're adding some dating sim in there. Very interesting. Um, solve elemental puzzles. Solve a wide variety of elemental riddles. Base, building, and mini games. Build your own base by creating and enhancing buildings according to your preference. Okay, some dark cloud stuff right here. Um, weather and time changes, day and night cycle, mixed calendar system, elaborate design system with choices, no silent protagonist, elaborate quest, hand painted mini maps. Okay, so wow, they're attempting to try a lot and some of these features are features that I've wanted to see in a JRPG for quite some time. Like, I've wanted to see for so long, I've wanted to see, um, what's it called? I've wanted to see a day and night system in JRPGs so much. Ever since Radiata Stories, back on the PlayStation 2, did a day and night system, I've been wanting to see a day and night system so much in a JRPG. And then you got that base building aspect. Those are two features right there that if they can pull that off, if they can pull that off, man, I, that'd be very impressive to me because those are two features that I would love to see brought back to the JRPG format. Base building, like Dark Cloud, and then, um, what's it called? And then um, day and night system. Man, that is what I want right there. I want a day and night system. Uh, Wassam, Wassam, oh, Wassam, I hope I said that right, Wassam, okay Kali Q, check out Abyss X Zero trailer, it seems to be inspired by Mega Man Legends, okay, let me try it, another game with social links, I'm interested, I'm hearing good things about Terra, Open Ended JRPG, okay, awesome, so I'll check out some of these other ones, so Abyss X Zero, is it like a platformer? Oh, this might be this might be trailer watching day with you guys. This might be trailer watching day with you guys, man. Um, inspired by Mega Man Legends. Let me see here. Let me see if I can find that tra trailer. Man, indie developers coming through, ain't they? It's the it's the it's the age of the indie, man. Hey, look, I'm a small channel myself. So if I can ever help, if I can ever help a um, series out, man, I'm a, I'm gonna be down for it. Yeah, it it sounds neat, doesn't it? Doesn't it sound pretty decent? Like if they can actually pull it off, I'll consider going back to the Kickstarter page and looking at more if they really impress me by what their Kickstart uh, Kickstarter rollout looks like. If I can see the vision of what they're going to try, hey man, I might give it a shot, man. I might give it a shot. I might give it a shot. I'm with you guys. I do hope that they don't bloat it because it sounds like they're trying to make it a social sim as well. And that's the part that sounds a little bit, um, that part sounds a little bit too over, too, too, um, what's the word? Is it over ambitious? It sounds a little too ambitious. I think they should focus on it being a great JRPG first and then make the dating sim or social simulator aspects of it make those secondary. Kind of like how Star Ocean did. Star Ocean the second story R did an amazing job of having the different relationships but it did not play such a role where it was a focal point of the game. It was an aspect that could change your ending and they did it in a way that was tasteful and natural. If they make this game spend too much time on trying to be a social sim it's not going to work man so one thing at a time one thing at a time so that's runa all right let's check out another one guys cyrus said oh cyrus what's going on cyrus nice to see you all right so let's check out this other trailer abyss x zero inspired by Mega Man legends as 
Why, uh, Wissim, Wassam, Wassam, let me know if I'm saying that. See, I love my community. I got Cyrus, I got Zoom, I got P Doggo, I got Duragen. Everybody's talking to each other, looking out for each other. Matt is here. I love it, man. Y'all can please always, even if I'm like leaving a stream or something, just look out for each other. Just talk to each other. Just be with each other, right? Just get to know one another, man. It's all about this community. So I love how y'all was still even talking, even when I had to leave for a second. Warms my heart, warms my soul. Thank y'all for doing that. So let's go ahead and check this trailer out. This is like trailer watching day right now. We checking out all the trailers of all kind of games right now. All right. So somebody recommended me to try out this trailer. I have no idea what I'm getting into. Okay. So you guys bear with me and bear with this person. I don't know what this is. So let's check it out. Oh, shoot. If it's anything Mega Man related, I'm down. You know I love Mega Man. Yeah, I'm just watching trailers right now. Like the stream. Yes, guys. Why? Like the stream, please. Oh, shoot. I'm not even watching the video. Let me go back. Let me go back. So this is Abyss X0. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, it looks kind of cool, actually. It kind of remind me of the Legends graphics, low key. Platforming is the protagonist all female, probably. I'm guessing. Oh shoot! What well, you got? An armor? Oh, moving, moving the box. Some platforming. I can see how you said it looks Mega Man Legends inspired. I can see that. I can see that. I have not heard of this game at all. I didn't even know that this existed. I have no idea. I had no idea this existed. No idea. Everybody loves the schoolgirl attire these days, huh? Abyss X Zero. Seems interesting. Seems interesting. I can definitely see the influence. I can. Like, I, I can't see the influence. Okay, not bad. Thank you for the suggestion. Not bad, not bad. Is the Kickstarter on it live yet? Or wait, is it a Kickstarter? Or is it out? Oh, uh, Moneymaker. Let's give a hearts in the chat for Moneymaker. <laughs> Thank you so much. Said, okay, this is fire. So is this game out? Zoom. Oh, Zoom interested in it? Uh-oh. Hold on. We might have a winner here. Like I told y'all, my brother Zoom, I always love his 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 take on games are so, so interesting and thorough to me. What is going on? What in the name of ads is happening right now? All right. Yeah, get them hearts in the chat, guys. Get them hearts for Moneymakers. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, donating to the channel, super chatting to the channel, and all of my channel members, man. Thank y'all, love y'all, appreciate y'all. Thank you. This is Indie Trailer Day. This is Indie Trailer Day. We giving a shout out to all the indie developers out there trying to rock it with their games, man. We all support the big people and the big corporations. Sometimes you gotta throw a little love on the indie side, man. So it's a PC only game. Let me go to the Steam real quick. Let me go to the Steam thing real fast. I've never heard of this. Let me go to the, the how much is it? So is it out? Where is the, where's the Steam page? It just keeps taking me back to YouTube. Where's the actual Steam page? Duradan, I think I just saw you posted a link, right? It seems like you guys are feeling this one. Do we have a link to this one, guys? Do we have a link? Oh, posting it on Discord. Okay. Let me see here. Let me try to find a link real quick. Or I'll rather I'll just go to my Steam and check it out for myself on my Steam. Seems like most people was feeling that one, huh? I mean, that looked like that was high action packed, right? All right, we got the link in there. We got the link in there. 
Abyss X Zero. So that actually looked pretty cool. So do we know any information about it? Does it have any sort of release date? Oh, I don't see a release date. Where's the studio's page? I'm actually into that, man. Let me watch the trailer one more time. Hold on, guys. Let me see some. Let me see some. I kind of like what I saw. Let me see one more time. Because I feel like these sort of games, man, these sort of games are pretty cool because you just never know with any developers, man. There could be some gold out here. and We're just missing it. And I, I, I want to see more smaller creators support it, man. See, and this kind of makes me, like, this shows me that Mega Man Legends can exist in today's world. If you market it right and give it the right gameplay and the right style, Mega Man Legends could absolutely survive in this climate right now. This game looks wild. It looks fun, though. Courses only steam only man gosh nice suggestion nice suggestion nice suggestion that, that see that's awesome perfect that's awesome that's awesome I love to hear about indie games I love hearing that who else has another suggestion who has another indies or gaming trailer suggestion that I have not watched who else let me know. Because right now, we're on fire with these trailers right now. We are on fire with these trailers. Let me see here. Um, there's nothing... Let me see. Now... Oh, Terra. What was it called? Uh, Duradan Terra... Terra. What is it called? Terra. Is it just Terra? Terra. I'm seeing Memoria here. Maybe let me just click on that and see real quick. Oh, the first video says Terra Memoria. The Grandia like. What? Hold on. Let me see. What? Let me get this link up for you guys, man. You don't say Grandia now. Don't even Don't do that. Don't do that. You know I get I get real you know. Oh, money makers, thank you so much again. <laughs> I like that you're supporting indies. That's cool. Hey, thank you. Thank you. You it's actually you guys gave me this idea today to just support well, actually, no, I brought Runa to y'all attention. But you guys are giving me more trailers and videos to react to, so let me get some hearts in the chat. Hearts in the chat. Let's check out this trailer here. Oh, wait a second. What's going on here? Restore man, I am loving all these indies stepping out, man. Everybody's stepping out trying to make it here. Oh, cooking mini game? Hold on, I like the cooking mini game. Hey, that looked good right now. I'm not gonna lie. That actually looks really good. Like, I'm so hungry right now, guys. <laughs> I'm mad hungry right now. <laughs> um, wow, is he a buff mage? We always talk about how there needs to be buff mages. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty cool. Characters are abstract though, very abstract. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. I just love, I just love, yeah man, listen Cyrus, they had that cooking on there, I'm like listen, 10 out of 10, you got a cooking mini game man, 10 out of 10. Alright, now is this game already out and does it have reviews? It seems like this game is out already. Um, what platforms? Well, I watched the PS5 trailer zoom, so I think... Oh, I think this one is PS5. This one is PS5, it looks like. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I love me some... I love me some cooking mini games, man. Cooking mini games. Let's go. 
Could, oh, it has a demo? Oh, you guys didn't tell me about that. So it got a, it got a whole demo out here. PS5 whole demo out here. All right now. I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, it has reviews out. People are reviewing this game already. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, wait. You said it had a demo, but not anymore? Uh-oh. No more demo? <laughs> no more demo? That's crazy. Hey, and I don't know if I've done this before, but guys... My brother Zoom has a YouTube gaming channel as well. If you guys have not subbed to him, please consider doing that um, because he's just an awesome, awesome, awesome person, awesome ambassador for gaming as well. And I really love his takes. He's one of the channels that I watch on my free time. I don't know if you guys ever noticed that though, but Zoom has a channel as well. So if y'all would like to support my brother Zoom, Get run those numbers up. Please consider joining his channel. I mean, uh, subscribing to his channel and checking out his content as well. Okay, I, I don't know if I ever put that out there before, but I, I really wanted to put that out there. Y'all consider checking out my brother Zoom so that y'all can stay locked in with the whole fam. All right, stay locked in with the whole fam. Now, guys, another thing that I've been doing here, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm going to react to it. Not react to it, but I'm going to pull it up on the screen. Man. As y'all probably know, I love Sonic. All right. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I grew up playing Sonic the Hedgehog. I grew up watching Sonic the Hedgehog. And Sonic is a huge part of my gaming upbringing. And I am so stoked for the new Sonic movie coming out later this year. I cannot wait for the Sonic movie to come out and drop, right? Like, I cannot wait. Now, the Knuckles sub-series is coming out on Paramount Plus, and I will be watching the Knuckles sub-series, man. I will be watching this on Paramount to see how it goes and how it leads into Sonic the Hedgehog 3. But yeah, I'm a big Sonic nerd, guys. I love me some Sonic the Hedgehog. And um, I've been so hyped about this movie. M.A., what's going on, M.A.? What's going on, brother? You watching UFC 300 tonight, man? Who do you got for UFC 300 tonight? You already know I'm watching it. But yeah, I, I, I cannot wait for Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the movie. You guys, I might even do a review of that on the channel. Maybe through a live stream or something, just because... Um, I've been really looking forward to this movie. Um, this is not the movie. This is the Knuckles Paramount Plus series that is coming out. But um, I can't wait for this to drop, man. I, I, I'm a huge Sonic nerd, man. I love me some Sonic the Hedgehog. So, uh, and you know, I feel like it's gaming. So it's fair play, right? Even though it's a movie. It's gaming. Sonic the Hedgehog is a game first, so... Jordan Dan said, I got one, Callie. What if they made a live action Mega Man? I'd be so down. If it was done in this style, I would love a live action Mega Man. P Doggo, did you watch this trailer yet? And what do you think of this Knuckles trailer? I think it looks good. I can't wait. They got Kid Cuddy in there. What's Kid Cuddy doing in here? Kid Cuddy, a whole actor now? Kid Cuddy, a whole actor. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Brother Zoom. Thank you, Brother Zoom. Let's get some hearts in the chat for my Brother Zoom. He said, I appreciate the love, brother. God bless you always. God bless you, man. Thank you for always being at the streams and always wanting to stay locked in with the fam and the community, man. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get some hearts in that chat. Get some hearts in that chat. So, yeah, guys, that's the Sonic trailer. That's the uh, Knuckles trailer right there. So I'm a huge Knuckles fan, man. There will be, more than likely, I will be throwing out a Knuckles, um, I mean, a, a, a Sonic movie review and Sonic movie hype as I get closer, man. Because even though it's a movie, Sonic the Hedgehog is a game series first. So, yeah, Zoom is the Zoom a real one, man. Zoom a real one. Zoom is a real one. Once again, fam, I will make a... Um, I will make a video talking about it 
um, we will be doing a Yudin Chronicle giveaway live stream next weekend. I'm leaning toward Friday the 19th because of my schedule is really crazy that Saturday. So the 19th of next week, I'm doing the big giveaway. Tell your friends, tell your people, share it. This will be the big giveaway where we're giving away three copies of a Yudin Chronicle. One is the deluxe edition for channel members only, and then two is for all subscribers, everybody. And, and just keep in mind that day, um, that day the stream could be a little late because of my schedule in real and you know in my day job i have a lot like i got a crazy week next weekend um, like i gotta travel and everything so i'm it's gonna be hard to do um the live stream like on time on time but just know prepare to stay up late that night <laughs> prepare to stay up late that night and prepare to give me some grace on the 19th okay Give me some grace because I, my schedule is extremely busy, but that is like the only day that I can make this happen before a Uden actually comes out. So I just wanted to throw that out there to you guys, okay? That 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 is one of the major reasons that I have to do it on the 19th. I'm looking at because I am just going to be so busy, so crazy, but it's still happening, okay? Yes, Moneymaker, I'm doing an Euden Chronicle giveaway where we're giving away three copies of the game total. The third copy is a deluxe edition, digital, 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 that Duradan is actually giving away. So we all want to give props and love to Duradan for that, okay? Um, let me see. Friday works for y'all. I hope it does. I hope Friday works for you guys, man. To Sonic fans, reminder that Freedom Planet released. Yeah, yeah. Moshi said, thank you, Callie, for putting me on a Grandia 2. I just beat the Spider Boss. Yes. Listen, you are awesome for playing Grandia 2 because Grandia 2, like I said, is one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. The story, the, the gameplay. I am so glad you are enjoying that. We got to tell Gung Ho Entertainment I put somebody on. Gung Ho. Yeah, look, y'all gotta look out for me. Well, they already looked out for me. We, let's just keep looking out for each other, Gung Ho Entertainment. And then when Grandia 4 is announced, y'all already know which channel to come to because I will break the news. <laughs> if Gung Ho made a Grandia 4, you know. Oh, uh, I am um, Felix Felipe said, where am I from? Oh, I'm a, um America born and raised, if that's what you ask. <laughs> Uh, full old street, right? Um, I'm still on Grandia 1. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it, man. Grandia is one of my favorite games ever, man. The story, number two, the way that Ryudo, I don't want to spoil it, but the way that Ryudo goes from this cold-hearted person with no belief to believing in a higher power and believing in people, man, that story is so beautiful to me. It's a beautiful story. It's a beautiful story. I, I love that story of becoming a better person than who we were at the start of the journey. That's what it's all about. I know most JRPGs try to teach you that, but I feel like with Grandia 2 and Ryudo's journey, you really get to see this man change. And he's still himself, but he just he just, you, you just start to see that compassion unlocked in him. And I loved it. He's compassionate, but he's still strong at the same time. So I love that stuff. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, M.A. said, I put, M.A., thank you for giving it a shot. Again, the first Grandia is good. It's a light Saturday morning cartoon, fire filling with adventure. But the second one is my favorite. It's, it's the peak one to me, but they're both incredible. They're both incredible. Um, Moshi said, only game I've been playing is Grandia 2. Honestly, it's up in my top three. I love dialogue. Gameplay needed. Wow. Up in your top three. That's incredible. See, I love that. Y'all can never say Cali Q don't give you no good suggestions, man. That's crazy. For it to reach your top three, that's really flattering to me. That's really crazy. 
Ryudo's so funny, bro. Yes, Ryudo is the man, isn't he? Isn't he? A, isn't he different? Uh, Duradan said, "I think Xenogear's story is a bit better." <laughs> Xenogear's story is pretty good. It, 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 it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm always going to be Grandia biased, but Xenogears has an amazing story as well. Uh, Faye's background is dark and saddening. Yeah, Faye went through a lot. I'm not going to lie. He went through a lot. But you know, when you get to this level, to be honest with you, and I know you know Duradan, but you can't go wrong. I mean, Ryudo, Faye, this era of JRPG protagonists were just, just so good, man. Just so good. All of them. If Ryudo doesn't cut it for you, you go to Faye. If Faye don't cut it for you, you go to Ryudo. Um, let me see what else we got here. So yeah, man, I man, I could talk about Grandia all day, man. I could talk about it all day, man. Like, this is my game right here. I, I love both of these games, man. I miss both of these games. That's why I said you can to me. You cannot go wrong when it comes to that that classic 90s JRPG style. It was just quality upon quality upon quality. No matter which way you turned and looked, it just was quality, man. No matter which way you look, there was something genuine about the original essence of JRPGs back in the day. They're still pretty good now. I'm not trying to be I'm not trying to be all back in my day, you know. <laughs> I think I think I'm sounding old now, guys. I'm sounding pretty old now. <laughs> but no, I, I really enjoy these old school classic JRPGs, man. They just give you that good, that good feeling. But yeah, that that right there is is classic to me. That 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 is perfect to me. Now let's touch on the brief um Euden Chronicle thing. With a lot of people getting their copies early and whatnot and things like that. Um, you know, it it's not the worst thing to happen, in my in my opinion, guys. I think I was a little bit bummed about it at first, but then when I realized that a lot of the backers are the one receiving the game, you know, it makes me not as bad about that, right? Like, these are our backers, and I, I, I had to think about it. Like, I'd rather have the backers get the game early than the backers get the game late. So, physical backers, I'm happy for you guys. I'm happy for you physical backers who actually got the game early. Like, I'm happy for them. I'm actually happy for them. And I'd rather they get the bugs out and all that stuff out now. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. Thank you so much, Money Maker. Got the heart in the chat. Let's get the hearts in the chat, guys. Said, what's a mature game that made you reflect? Ooh, excellent question. Good question, good question, good question. So, one game that I would say that has made me reflect. This is about to be different right here. Um, this is about to be different right here. I got, I got you, I got you. Today is a channel viewing, a trailer viewing day. I hope y'all don't mind all the trailers we've been watching. Let me answer your question, Moneymaker, with this. I hope I can use audio here. I hope I can use audio here. Um, and I hope you guys don't mind some of our trailer watching today. I know typically I talk to you guys, but hey man, it's Saturday, it's stream day. Let's just have fun. If you are new to the stream and you're in here, don't be afraid to say hi. Let your voice be heard. Talk to the community. Talk to the people. We all about the community and helping out people, man. So this is a family. As much as we can be through the internet, as much as we can be through a platform, go ahead, say hi. Hit that like button and join in on the conversation if you have anything you'd like to add in gaming, okay? Or just in life in general. We're here for you guys. Pray for you if you're going through something personal. That's what this community is all about. Pray for you. Game together. Let's chill together. Let's learn together. Let's grow together. All right. So money makers asked me a super chatted question. Um, Legend of Dragoon is absolutely amazing. So money makers asked me, what's a mature game that made me reflect? And I'm gonna put this game on the screen right here. One that y'all might not see coming, but I'll give you my reasons why I'm about to say it. All right. 
So we're going to go ahead and get this game up on the screen. Hold on, give me one second. One second, one second, one second. One second, one second. One second, one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to I want to do this a certain way. Cuz this game right here this game right here changed changed my life, man, in a way. This game right here, some of you guys might have heard it. You might have heard me talk about it before. Right here. Boom. I got it up on the screen. I hope I do at least. All right. So I got it up here on the screen. This game right here, man. Shin Mu, man. Shin Mu. Shin Mu is a game. And you might say, okay, Callie, you say you say mature. The reason I'm going with Shin Mu, we're gonna watch the trailer first and then I'll talk about it. Absolutely legendary game, man. Legendary. Man, this game right here, Shinmu, I get the feelings. You know, as a martial artist myself, this game speaks to me in such a deep way. This game speaks to me in such a deep way, man, because Shinmu right here is a, is a game about a boy named Ryo. His father gets murdered right in front of him, as we just saw by this man named Lan D. And throughout the game, Ryo's whole mission, he drops out of school, he drops everything he's doing to get revenge on the man that killed his father right in front of him. And the journeys and adventure that you go on with this character is so amazing and so life changing. He meets so many different masters. He meets street punks. He meets people that he don't know will be allies, friends. He learns the ways of martial arts. He learns about what it means to actually be a fighter, be a warrior. He goes on a completely life-changing journey that while his message is, while he's still searching for revenge of the man who killed his father, you get to just see so many things that this character goes through. And the reason that I chose it as a game that was mature is because the true vision of Shinmu is to eventually, eventually we know that he might not go for that revenge we know that the story that he's going on is one a little bit deeper than just revenge he's learning so much more about himself as a person as a man and quickly the character sees how little he knows when he's going through and meeting these different masters and these martial artists and these fighters from all over the world he's finding out how small he actually really is and how much he needs to learn now he's doing all of this in search of finding the man that kills his father. Whether his adventure takes him all the way through Japan, this man has even traveled to China looking for the man that killed his father, all right? So that's what makes this game so special to me. Um, that's what, it's a mature game because it deals with revenge. And revenge is an emotion that you want it right away. You want it gratified. You just want it, right? You want that revenge and you want it when you want it. Eye for an eye, you get me back, I hit you back. And while there are some times where you should protect yourself and defend yourself, I believe that Shimu teaches the journey of figuring out what this emotion is. Why do you want this revenge so bad? Who is this man that walked in and killed your father? So for me, I've always wanted to see this story completed. Unfortunately, though, the bad news, guys, is this series is still on a cliffhanger and... It will probably never be finished at this rate. Um, it's kind of sad to go through all of that and say that, but I don't know if Shinmu will ever be finished. So the series is on a cliffhanger, and it's been on a cliffhanger for over decades now. And unfortunately, this man still, he has not still found the man who killed his father, unfortunately. I'm sorry, I thought I had the visuals on this whole time. My bad, guys.
Um, it's on a hiatus because it was not that well received. Well, it was real received, but it wasn't a big seller back in the Dreamcast day. And then it came out for the Xbox, and it also wasn't the biggest seller. This game is a visionary game. This game is way ahead of its time. It's way ahead of its time, right? Guys, the game you're looking at is a Dreamcast game. For those of you who don't know what Shinmu is. I'm not saying the graphics are the most groundbreaking thing ever, but look at these graphics back in 1999. This game pushed the genre forward. In fact, so many games that are responsible today, they owe a bit of that to Shinmu's innovation. Quick time events. Shinmu was one of the main uh, proprietors of using quick time events in these high uh, budget games. Shinmu was the game that really brought quick time events into the forefront when it comes to modern gaming. Shinmu gave us these awesome cinematic cutscenes, the aspect of an open world or an open environment. Every character in this game was living, breathing, had a schedule. You could talk to every single character that was walking the streets. Even games like Yakuza. Even Yakuza is not, did not do the level of detail that Shinmu did when it came to video game. Now, again, I mean... I mean, guys, I'm serious. Like, the way that this game went into it, man, it was just crazy. I, I love this game. I mean, it had a weather system. It had a timing system. All these NPCs walking around, you could have a conversation with every single person walking around. It was wild. It was wild. Shinmu is not perfect, though. It's not a perfect game. I'm not saying it's the greatest video game of all time, but it's a game that holds a very special place to me. And it's a game that I find really helped me out in my journey, especially, like I said, as a, you know, as a, as a fighter and stuff, it really spoke to me about how much there is to learn in life. And life is always a learning journey. It's always a journey of learning and figuring out new things. So that is to answer your question. That's a game that really, you know, inspired me. That's mature. Thank you, Moneymaker, for the awesome uh, question. Um, I, I, Man, I should have just made that into a whole Shinmu video, huh? I've been meaning to make a Shinmu video on my channel for so long. I've just had a hard time making it because, um, quite honestly, um, after knowing that there won't be a 4, it's kind of hard to... Knowing that there probably won't be a Shinmu 4, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of hard for me to get excited again. It's kind of hard for me to get excited again, because we as Shinmu fans waited, how many years was it? 15 years? We waited 15 years. We made, we waited 15 years to get Shinmu 3. And now it's been what? Shinmu 3 came out in 2019. It's been like 5 years since 3. And three wasn't all that. Three, unfortunately, was like a little. Um, three was made on a budget, and it wasn't the best because three was a Kickstarter game, so it wasn't the greatest that it could have been. But we were hoping it at least sold enough so that a publisher would become interested in it, and then maybe pick the series up. But I don't think Shinmu Three sold that well because the game itself was—I'm not gonna lie—it was rough because it was made by indie developer uh, Yu Suzuki by himself. So the meme that we all have in the Shinmu community is that we're going to be waiting another 15 years. <laughs> we won't see Dio get revenge until we're all about 45 or 50 years old. So that's another that's another 15 years for me. So I won't see that until that time. Yeah, only 15 more years. Only 10 more years left, right? <laughs> Thank you, Cyrus. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that. Yes, Felipe. Shinmu 3 was a miracle. It absolutely was a miracle. It was a miracle. That's wild. Dash just said that. That is wild. We would have three versions of a Final Fantasy 7 remake before we get the next Shinmu. <laughs> oh, like Cyrus just said. Trails might be finished 
in the next 15 years. That's crazy. But you, I, I will keep it in mind. You never know what Shinmu 4, it could be announced. That's why when I just made that other video, I'm um, talking about do video games still excite you? If you have not watched that video, go check that video out. That's why when I made that video, I pointed out in that video, I would love a Shinmu 4. That if Shinmu 4 got announced tomorrow, I would absolutely go crazy. You know, if Mega Man Legends get announced, I would go crazy. Okay? These are games that really... P-Doggo said, what are we going to see first? Suikoden 7 will come out before Shinmu 4. <laughs> Suicoden than seven? We don't even have a six yet. That's crazy. Uh, have I seen Sifu? Yes, I've seen it around, but I really haven't paid too much attention to it. I have seen it around, though. P-Doggo said we're going to see GTA 7 or Shinmu 4. Hey, you know what? GTA take a long time to come out. I'm going Shinmu 4 on that one. <laughs> I'm going Shinmu 4 on that one all day. I believe. Now... The question is, Suikoden 6 or Shinmu 4? That's crazy. Suikoden 6 or Shinmu 4? You know what? I should do a, a, a video called Video Game Sequels. I know that will never happen. And if they happen, I will be so super excited. Like, I, I'm going to make that video and I want to be wrong. I'm going to make that video and I'm going to be wrong. I want to be wrong. Video game sequels that will never happen and I hope that I'm wrong. That might be the name of my video. Y'all just gave me a new video idea. Easily sweeter than 6. Star Ocean 3 Remake or Shinmu 4? Um, I'm going to go Star Ocean 3 Remake. I think with the success of Star Ocean the second story R. And you know what? Star Ocean never really has died. Even though it's had a couple entries that have been hot, buttered, trash. <laughs> it ain't been that bad. Only Star Ocean 5 is the worst. But um, Star Ocean 3 Remake, I believe it has a chance. And, and, and it has a chance because the second story R has done so well. So I think it has a chance. Star Ocean 3 Remake. I think it has a chance. I'm going to be real with you guys though. I do think a Suikoden 6 is pretty far. I, I I have to keep it real with you guys. I think a Suikoden 6 is very far into the netherland of not existing. <laughs> I think it's a very far. Listen, we can't even get 1 and 2 HD remasters. <laughs> How are we going to get a 6? <laughs> We don't even have the HD remaster dates yet. Um, Breath of Fire. Now look, MA, MA. Breath of Fire actually might have a chance. It might actually have a chance because of the Capcom survey that they ran and people are saying they want Breath of Fire. So we at least have it in Capcom's mind that people are asking about Breath of Fire. It's a possibility. It's a possibility that we could potentially get a Breath of Fire. Now, I'm not saying that based off of anything I'm knowing. I'm saying that based off of, since they did do a poll, it's possible. It's possible. I don't know. If, oh, Star Ocean is a franchise I never played. Hey, I highly recommend Star Ocean. Um... I don't know if they get a good number from a Uden HD remaster and six could happen. I hope so, Duradan. I I'm kind of a little um I'm literally just so uh, I don't like saying it on camera, but Konami and me are just <laughs> uh maybe, maybe maybe I just maybe I just need to uh, I'll stay I'll reserve judgment. I'll reserve judgment. Imagine if they made a, a real Chrono Trigger sequel. Um there's a Persona 6 rumor that has been confirmed. Guys, I feel like... So are you guys aware of the leaker Midori on a Twitter right now? Um, I think it's a lady. She has been leaking so much information when it comes to Sega games and Persona games. And it seems like every single Persona is going to get remade at this rate, guys. Every single one. Now there are new rumors that Persona 1 and 2 is going to be remade. 
So literally every persona is going to get remade at this point. Every single one. Midori has been going crazy with these persona leaks. I'm going to be honest. I feel like she has to be a plant or a plug. Because there's no way she's getting all this info out. <laughs> she got to be a plug. She got to be a plug. She has to be. Cause at, and at the rate that she's leaking these things, that's crazy. That faucet is always on. Let's just say that. That faucet has never been turned off. <laughs> that faucet is always on. Uh, Jarrell, what's going on, Jarrell? Jarrell said, I can never get into Star Ocean 3, but they would be crazy not to remake it. I think it's the highest selling. It is. Question is, how would they handle 3D opposed to 2D? Um... You know, Jarrell, I made a video talking about Star Ocean 3 Remake Potential. And I said the same thing. I said the same thing. The, if they remade Star Ocean 3... Let me pull up Star Ocean 3, man. Let's, let, let's pull it up. We've been watching a lot of trailers today. Let's look up Star Ocean 3 HD. I love me some Star Ocean 3, guys. But um, the problem is with Star Ocean 3, it needs a remake. And it needs a remake bad. Um... Even watching it back and going off of my memory, Star Ocean 3 needs a remake. It, it An HD release is not enough. This game needs an overhaul. And it's because it's from that early PS2 era of, of graphics and animation. It needs an overhaul. I mean, if they were to bring it back, this is a game that actually, quote unquote, needs a remake. Some of you might say, hey man, it doesn't look that bad. It's so stilted and so stiff. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, this is all nostalgia for me. I love Star Ocean. But it like if there's a game that could benefit from a remake, it's definitely Star Ocean 3. The animation, the battle system, everything could use a nice remake and overhaul, right? So that's how I feel when it comes to Star Ocean. When it comes to Star Ocean, I feel like it could absolutely use that remake. My dream for Star Ocean 3 Remake? I actually want a D-Make. I actually want a D-Make. What do I mean? I want to see this in 2.5D just like they did with Star Ocean The Second Story R. Or in the same vein as Ayudin Chronicle. I say that because this game right here this game right here was so long. I think this was what a 60, 70 hour game if you play it right. I want to see a D make. And what I mean by D make is yeah, I want to see it actually brought down to that 2.5D style. Now I, I use D make loosely, so don't really don't go crazy, guys. Don't go crazy on me. I use D make as in to say stepping down from 3D and going 2D. That's all I mean. Um, let me read some of you guys' comments here. When are they going to bring Star Ocean 1 Remake? Oh, you know, I would love to see it. Remaster the PC. I have no idea. I don't know if Tri-Ace would do the remake, but they don't handle 3D models model as well. Listen. Jarrell. Tri-Ace and 3D. Right now. That's tough. Um, one of my subscribers always gets a little mad at me when I bring up this game, but I have to bring this game up. I have to bring it up. I have to bring it up. One of my subscribers gets so <laughs> a little bit, <laughs> a little bit upset with me when I talk about this game and when I talk about this game's graphics. But check this out right here. Check this out. This is Star Ocean, and we're gonna go over. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I have to do this. I have to do this. Uh, give me one second. I have to do this because I feel like this will help illustrate my point a little bit better. One second, guys. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right, here we go. So check this out, man. Man, woo! Oh gosh, guys. 
first, before I continue, let me just relax for a second. Is everybody enjoying the stream so far? I hope everybody's been enjoying our Saturday together and enjoying our stream. I know at the end of the day, this is still a viewing experience for you guys. So I really hope that you guys have been enjoying our time together and enjoying our stream together. If you are, go ahead, raise your hand in the chat section down below. Let me know you are actually enjoying yourself on our stream today. I do appreciate y'all spending your Saturday and your time with me it means a lot to me thank y'all man so go ahead and drop that high five let me know you're enjoying the stream all right I just wanted to do a quick intervention real fast so all right so right here man let, let, let's talk let's talk Ooh, so scary so Star Ocean had this problem with making these doll face characters man they just look so crazy Creepy to me. This is Star Ocean 4. And this was a character on the game named Lim. Man, I did not like this character. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This character right here, I did not enjoy this character whatsoever. The way she looks is just scary. Like, it's like a doll just looking into your soul. What in the ad is this? I'm trying to click on a picture and it keeps taking me to every other ad. What is going on? I'm sorry guys, give me a second. I don't know why my uh why there's no links of this character. This is the best I can do. I don't know. Anyway. Uh let me see. Okay, here we go. Let this hunt you in your dreams when you go to sleep tonight. I'm sorry, Brother Zoom. I did not want to give you a scary image to think about, but here you go. Okay. Now, check this out. This has been what Star Ocean's 3D models have been looking like for a couple years now. This is why it's so imperative that we go to 2D. <laughs> Man, look, they just made a movie called Megan or Megan or whatever. Um, Megan, Megan. She could have been the doll that played the little robot girl or something. <laughs> I've seen worse. I actually like Star Ocean Integrity. So you know what, Sephiroth? I give you so much. Um, you, are, you, you got me because as big of a Star Ocean fan that I am, I... And I don't say this to even disrespect you. I hated that game. That game was probably... And I, I say I hate that game because I don't think... That game's rollout for me, that was one of the most excited I've ever been for a JRPG. I think Star Ocean 5. Star Ocean 5 is the most excited I was hyped for a JRPG. And I think when I played that game, I don't know if I've been that disappointed in a game that I've been that hype about in a very long time. In a very long time. I think that's what really hurt me. It's more coming from a place of hurt rather than hate. So I use hate very loosely. But here we go. Exhibit B. Exhibit B. Zoom said he's seen worse, but I can't even see a nose on this character. You say worse, I don't even see a nose, brother. <laughs> oh, man, what's going on? All right, all right. Anyway, so this is Star Ocean 5. This is one of the characters. This is not Doctor. This is not edited. This is from the game. This <laughs> all right, let me stop. Let me stop. We got your nose goes. <laughs> y'all are crazy. See, it's y'all. It's y'all. It's not me. It's y'all doing it now. That's not me. Y'all are doing this one. Y'all doing this one. <laughs> see, I still see. No. And again, I am saying all of this. I am saying all of this not to rag on Star Ocean. I love Star Ocean. But I have to keep a spade a spade and I have to keep it real when I say 
that we have been through some rough times as Star Ocean fans. It has been a little rough. And I'm an advocate for 3D. I love 3D characters. I just said it in my other um in my other video. I love the 3D art style when it comes to my J JRPGs. I love me some 3D characters. But um we've been through it when it comes to Star Ocean. Um it, it, it's been rough. It, it, it's been pretty rough. It's been pretty rough. So whoever was that person who said that they want to see Star Ocean in 2D, this is why I was showing the 3D. I mean, that was an actual shot from the game. Sephiroth. Now, Sephiroth, I'll give you that. That, that See, I always try to find positivity even when I'm getting on something. There's always something to... Because, you know, at the end of the day, people worked on these games. Developers put their hard time into these games. I am not one to just sit from my seat and make fun of something, right? I, I, I have to keep it real. I know they did their best with the limited budget they had. But to that, I would raise you this. Critique should always be welcome. And there should be something you can always learn from. When Star Ocean 5 did well, I did enjoy using all the characters on the screen. Because you know how the typical JRPG thing is, right? You got three main characters on the screen. They're running around. And then when you get in the battle... It's like, I mean, you got your main character on the screen. Then when you get in the battle, all your little party members jump out of your, your back or your pocket or something. <laughs> like, as a protagonist, you're always running around with the protagonist. And then everybody jump out your back pocket and we all start fighting, right? <laughs> but in Star Ocean Five, the party that you had that was following you on the screen is the same party that you transitioned into the battle with all at once. All at once, all seven party members followed you on the screen in the adventure mode or in the exploration mode. And when you go to a battle, all seven also fight with you right then and there. So I love, I like that feature. That was one redeeming quality that it did have. I will admit that. Um, seven characters in combat. Yeah. Which game did you dislike the most, Cali? Yeah. Um, this game, Felipe, is is up there. Star Ocean 5 is up there. It's up there. I, I didn't even... I couldn't... I couldn't finish this game. As much... And I am a huge... Guys, isn't it crazy? I'm a huge Star Ocean fan. Huge. I will go to war for Star Ocean. I will go to bat for Star Ocean. Like I've done with some of my channel content. But as I said before, this game remains one of my top disappointments of all time. It, it's up there. It, it, it's up there. It, it, it's up there, man. The um, next one is a typical one. I have to be honest. Zysteria. Tales of Zysteria kind of disappointed me in a great way as well. Um, Tales of Zysteria is up there. And then Final Fantasy XIII. That was a game that I was not a fan of at all. Especially as a baby Final Fantasy fan. Um, Final Fantasy XIII was very disappointing to me. Um, Star Ocean and Xenogears will look amazing. Yes, Xenogears will look amazing. Let me ask this to Zoom. Zoom, what is one of the worst fighting games that you've ever played? Do that for me. Watch Brother Zoom say Street Fighter 6. <laughs> Brother Zoom gonna say Street Fighter 6. <laughs> worst fighting game I've ever played. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. The story of Zysteria was very mad, but I did enjoy the fusion mechanic. Okay, okay. I want to know all of you guys. Okay, you guys asked me that question. What's one of the worst JRPG experiences that you guys have had so far? But Sephiroth, thank you for making your voice heard. Again, Sephiroth, if you enjoyed Star Ocean um, 5, enjoy it. Definitely don't let me take that joy from you. Enjoy it. If you thought that game wasn't that bad, then own it. Live up to it. You do not have to agree with me just because I've got a stream, you know? I like that you actually like Star Ocean Fire so that it can kind of go against my narrative a little bit. So I like that you actually enjoy that game. Well, let me ask you this, though, Sephiroth. Sephiroth, what is one of the worst or most disappointing JRPGs that you have played? Let me know. Um, Zoom said Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl hands down 
Somebody mentioned it earlier. Yes, this is the Yakuza bar music. Yes, I love this as my backdrop of music sometimes. Xenosaga 2 is pure trash. Oh, Xenosaga 2 was tough. Street Fighter. Pedro says Street Fighter 6 sometimes. Street Fighter 5 when the opponent activate V trigger. <laughs> Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. Yeah, that game was absolute trash and ain't had a special move that way. I remember the memes of All Star Brawl and Aang as a <laughs> Aang was so broken, wasn't he? I remember the memes that went out about that game. I heard that game was woo, I heard that game was bad, guys. I heard that game was bad. Um Octopath, because it was too grindly, excellent otherwise. Uh, who? What did you guys uh, say? Huge letdown. I hate it. FF thirteen. Oh, tells of Symphonia down of the New World. Ooh, that one hurt. That one hurt. That one did hurt. What is it called? Sticker Star. What is that, Cyrus? What what game is that? Not even an RPG, but Paper Mario for the 3DS. Last Remnant. I couldn't stand how everything was randomized. I thought it was cool at first, and the formations were fun to set up, but it got tiring for me very quickly. Paper Mario Sticker Star, I guess. I never really played uh, Sticker Star. Ooh, Dad, Dad hit me right in my core. Dad said pretty much anything past Suikoden 2 was kind of a disappointment because 2 set the bar so high. Okay, never mind. I take it back. You didn't hit me. You didn't hit me because that's reasonable. I love Suikoden 3. But I can understand why a lot of people was taken aback by it. It was a little bit further away from that timeline that Suikoden 1 and 2 set up. And it changed the format. It, it, it changed the format. It, it did. So I'm not, I'm not mad that people put 3 in that box sometime. But I think 3 is phenomenal. I love Suikoden 3. I love 3. I think 3 is excellent. Worst fighting game, Shaq Fu, Brutal Pauls of Fury on the Genesis. Shaq Fu was a mess. I remember Shaq Fu. I, I, I remember Shaq Fu. P Doggo said, if I had to say my most uh my most was JRPG with Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3 hurts. Kingdom Hearts 3 hurts. Kingdom Hearts 3 hurts. Cause it could've it should have been so much better to me. 3 wasn't terrible, but it should have been so much more. 3 th 3 might be mine as well, Pete Algo. That is up there. 3 is up there. Mega Man X Command mission on the PS2 was awful. <laughs> They were good, but just didn't live up to Suikoden in 2. Zoom, how did you feel about Street Fighter V? You know I hated Street Fighter V. I, I want to know, am I too hard on that game, Zoom? What do you think? Oh, another game. I, oh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, What is that game called? Infinite. Oh, Infinite. Infinite is one of the worst abominations I've ever played in my life. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Disgusting. Now I'm taking that to heart because of how big of a Marvel vs. Capcom fan I am. Infinite is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. I will never like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. It is a slap in the face to my fighting game soul. I'll never like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever will I ever like Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Complete money grab. If money grab was a game, it's Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Let me cash in on the MCU. Let me cash in on the MCU. Hello, LaDouche. I just want to say hello. Just pop in and say hi. Hi, Kelly. I mean, hi. Hi. How are you doing? Sweet it in 4 and 5. Street, Street Fighter 5 is good now. Had a rough launch. Kingdom Hearts 3 was so disappointing. Yeah. 
Now, I do know that 5 got better eventually, guys. I was just so burned because I bought 5 as a collector's edition day one. The launch, I'm not going to lie. The launch, the launch really, really, um, the launch really hurt me. Because I bought that game on collector's edition. So how do you think I felt during launch day? I know that Street Fighter V got better as time went on, but that didn't take out the spoiled taste in my mouth of buying it day one collectors. So I never got over that initial taste of what Street Fighter V did to me. That's why I'm so bitter, guys. <laughs> okay? That's why I'm so bitter. I know it ended up becoming a solid game throughout its run, but I don't know. They had already wounded me by that time. They had already hurt me. They already hurt me by that time. I was already hurt. Guys, we didn't even have an arcade mode, man. <laughs> uh. What fighting game? Wait, Zoom, I'm right, right? What fighting game? What fighting game does not launch with the traditional arcade mode? It either either it was that. Uh, please, somebody help my memory. Was it the fact that Street Fighter V didn't have an arcade mode, or it was missing? It was missing a key basic mode that comes in a fighting game. I, I'm pretty sure it was arcade mode, right? It had to be the arcade mode. There was a mode that wasn't even... Pre I'm talking basic... This is like making a JRPG. This is like making a JRPG that ends in the first town. Imagine if you booted up a JRPG. Imagine if you booted up a JRPG and the first introductory town is the town that the game ends in an hour into your gameplay. You're just getting started. You're just getting started. And then the story ends. That's what playing Street Fighter V like on launch was like. I got my character. I named my main protagonist. Okay, I'm still learning the tutorial of the battle system. Okay, cool. I cannot wait to play with the other characters. And then as soon as you step out on the journey to go do the first quest of the JRPG, you know that first quest that gets you started, gets you ready, the game ends. That's what playing Street Fighter uh, V was like. Didn't even have an arcade mode. A basic run through eight fighters. Didn't even have that. So yes, guys. While five ended up becoming better, and I acknowledge it because it did. I ended up playing it because they put Sakura in there. And I'm a huge Sakura fan. It don't take away that pain, y'all. <laughs> it don't take away that pain, guys. It don't take away that pain. That was a lot of pain. A brother couldn't even play arcade mode. What? What? Oh, yeah. P-Doggo got it right. And you got to pay $30 to go to the next town. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Um, Bobby said, I like it more than uh, six these days. Hey, Bobby, look, I don't blame you. I mean, if that, that's totally fine. It's just for me, that launch, I could not get over that hoop. I could not forgive them. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't forgive them. I could not forgive them. That, that hurt, that sting too bad. That, that was too bad of a sting for a man who had just dropped 200 something dollars. I learned my lesson. Salty, super salty lesson. Super duper salty. But yeah, guys, um, let me go ahead, guys. <laughs> Thank y'all for being on the stream. We've been on here almost two hours. Everybody give yourself a hand, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. It's about time for me to start getting ready for this awesome UFC card that I will be enjoying with my family later tonight. Thank you guys for checking in on Cali Q community, the stream, 
engaging with me, liking my videos, liking my content, loving my content. It is time for me to start getting ready to watch this UFC tonight. Shout out to my brother Zoom. Like I said, y'all, check out his channel. Check out Cyrus's channel. Check out all of these other small content creators that are doing such an amazing job with their channel, man. We got to look out for each other. I will always keep promoting my brothers in YouTube arms as long as we're all doing this. I don't care how big I seemingly get. I'm always here for my community and to get to know you guys and have these intimate moments with you guys, man. So thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. My, my bad, Bobby. I read it wrong. I'm so sorry. I'm so used to Street Fighter 6. My bad, Bobby. <laughs> my bad, my bad. <laughs> but hey, once again, a reminder, I'm doing an Euden Chronicle giveaway next week on the 19th. I'll be giving away two standard digital copies for all subscribers. And then one deluxe edition is coming from Duradan as a special give back to the community. But you have to be a Cali Cube member in order to be a part of the digital deluxe edition. Thank y'all. Do y'all have any last words for your boy before I go ahead and close down the stream for today? Anything you guys like to say to me? Anything, anything, anything. Zoom said, if I don't rig, it's rigged. If I don't win, it's rigged. You know it, man. I'm so sorry, Zoom, man. I, I already got the winners. I'm just playing. No, no, no. I'm, I might do my giveaway slightly different. Me and Duradan are working on how I might do the giveaway this time. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in the giveaway, guys. Trust me. I want y'all to know I will be entering myself in the giveaway as well. So, y'all going to have to compete with me. <laughs> All right, guys, man. Let me go ahead and head out. Cyrus, brother, I'm so proud of you and your channel. I want to say again, keep going. Keep pushing out content that you enjoy. Do not chase this algorithm. The algorithm is fleeting. Uh, the best way to enjoy on this platform is to just do what you are called to do and have fun with this content creation, man. Engage with your community. Talk to people. Get to know people. Be there for people. Pray for people. And uh, I'm just so happy for everybody on the platform. So, guys, that is it. Callie's out. Thank you for the channel members. Thank you for the Patreon members. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for financially helping my channel out, guys. Again, I don't want to do this full time, but I want to do it to a place where it's comfortable and it can sustain itself. So all of your love and support and donations mean a ton to me. All right. That's it, guys. I'm out of here, man. Peace. Stay safe. Enjoy your Saturday. And if you're watching UFC, enjoy the show. God bless. I love y'all, man. Peace. Callie's out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs>